As Quest Software Update V66 has been rolling out to more and more people, data miners are already looking forward to Software Update V67, and people who are updated into the public test channel that get to try these updates early have already called out some interesting features that are going to be coming down, features that look like they might have been inspired by some of the Apple Vision Pro's decisions. So far, the main feature that people are getting excited about is a flexible window panel. So traditionally in the home environment or pass-through, you had three windows that you could place in different docs in front of you and now it's looking like these windows can not only be moved freely anywhere in the room there's three more of them those windows can be set from flat to curved depending on how you want them to look and they can even be locked in place so as you move around the room they stay where they are left although if you go far enough from your play space they will snap back out they're not something you could leave in one room of your house and walk all the way to the other end of the room but as these are experimental this may not be the way it makes it to the final v67 software update the virtual keyboard now if you've had trouble using it before based on its orientation can also be switched between vertical or at an angle. This is especially handy for hand tracking as most likely you're actually typing on the keyboard and not trying to point and click like you might be doing with the controller. If you are interested in using some of these features or checking out updates early, you can always join the public test channel. I'll leave a link down that in the comments and description in case you do want to go over there and get signed up so that you can stay ahead on what's going on in the VR, whether it's the UI or the actual operating system, you get to see it ahead of time. Although much like the actual software updates, even if you're in the public test channel some of these do roll out slowly or to certain areas first so if you are in public test you may not be seeing these yet in experimental features at least for the actual final software updates meta has now added a tool where you can force updates through a pc and a link cable we talked more in details about that in last week's news video i'll leave that up here in case you want to learn more but for now it does seem to be region limited not everyone has access to trying out that tool yet we've been talking to you about uses of vr beyond gaming and one that we mentioned last month that's up and coming is VR relaxation. Now, apparently a lot of you were interested in this because Mindtopia gave us a hundred discount codes and we ran out in less than a day. Mindtopia is an app where you can relax, you can look at different environments and there's interactables in them too, whether you're blowing dandelions, drumming away, or just listening to the rain. A lot of you out there went after it and we ran out of those codes. So they've given us some more codes. If you didn't get to check this out last month and you want to save a little bit of money, there's going to be a link in the description down below and in the comments to go check it out. Personally, between the move here and the studio, and everything i've actually been using vr a bit more for relaxation myself and i find that it is a really nice use for it usually when i'm in i'm playing something hype something heavy but just getting to sit back and look at some beautiful sights has been a nice way to just unwind especially if it's at the end of the day and you're trying to get ready for bed because if you get into something really active it's a lot harder to go to sleep i find so for those of you who missed out last month make sure you grab those discounts check out mindtopia let me know what you think about other purposes of vr and thanks to them for sponsoring this week's news and continuing to help more and more more users relax in VR. Whether you are hoping to get a VR headset right now for gaming or beyond gaming, hopefully you're looking towards the Quest 3 because the Quest 2 is actually starting to go out of stock. On the main Meta store, it's showing as out of stock. On Amazon, more and more, it's showing so many left or supplies are dwindling down. And this pointing more and more towards the idea that the Quest 2 is going to be replaced this year by some sort of Quest 3 Lite or the Quest 3 S name we keep seeing dropped around. This coming right on the heels of news that Quest 3 seems to have already sold over a million units, which at its higher price point of $500 is a pretty good start for its first year, although a long ways off of the millions of units the Quest 2 sold. Although we don't know the exact number on the Quest 2, we know that the Quest headset before the 3 launch last year that the Quest overall had sold 20 million units. That does include the Pro and the One, although we know those sold far less, so it's likely that the Quest 2 had sold at least 15 million. That's why it seems like it would be wise for Meta to get a headset out that can be at that lower price point to help keep pushing those VR headsets in the homes rather than focusing on getting everybody to spend 500 on a Quest 3 as the market does seem more apprehensive about spending that much more money. What do you think? Do you think the average consumer, if they went to the store at the end of this year, saw a Quest 3S for $250 or a Quest 3 for $500, which would they choose? That's where I feel like the name Lite would make a little more sense than S because some people are already saying a 3S sounds like it's better than a 3. Hopefully the price will be a pretty clear indicator as to which one is still the better headset. As the Quest 2 is beginning to sell out, it looks like the Quest 1 support is really coming to an end. An email just went out to Quest One owners reminding people that they did let us know in January of last year that they would stop releasing features for the original Quest One. In just a few short months at the end of August, they're no longer going to provide bug fixes or security updates for the Quest One headsets. This doesn't mean that the Quest One headsets will be completely bricked, but if you still own one, you know there's multiple games now that have been updated to where they stopped working on Quest One. Multiplayer features have dropped for a lot of games for Quest One, and this does 
does come five years after the Quest 1 launch. It seems like a short time when you think of it as in a gaming console life, but if you think of it more like a mobile phone, pretty standard, most of us aren't using the same phone after five years. Whether that's because we dropped it, broke it, or it just got too slow, it's more of a matter of perspective, I suppose, as to which way you look. Luckily, with the Quest 2 still being sold, now hopefully we'll see support on that for a long time to come, as many people own them, but it does seem like you never really know. If you do have a Quest that's still being supported and you are looking to get some games, the summer sale only lasts a few more days, but there are some good, decent discounts on meta games right now. I'll leave a full link down in the comments and description to all the sales in case you're interested in perusing those, but as long as you go on the meta site and you are logged in or you go on your phone, you should be able to see those sales and some of the really good ones, with many of the games at least being 30% off, but some being 60 or even 75% off. If you're looking for something to check out in the world of VR beyond gaming, Sabrina Carpenter is actually coming to VR for a VR concert in preparation for her new album, Short and Sweet, that's launching in August this July 19th at 5 p.m. Pacific time in Meta Horizon World's Music Valley. You can see a 45-minute concert. If you want to catch the main event, there is a link to RSVP, although Meta says replays will be available for another couple weeks in Meta's Horizon Worlds app. And speaking of Horizon Worlds, it has not only got its update version 168 now, it's updates all the time, but it is about to go worldwide. A big complaint about Horizon Worlds up until this point is that it hasn't been available in many countries. Now it is going to launch to every country that is supporting the quest. This probably means we'll see a huge uptick in where this ranks in the games that people are playing the most on the quest now that so many more people will have a reach into it. But it also means that if you had heard the news about a concert that you could make it to, maybe by then it will have reached your market and you'll actually be able to check things out in it. It'll be interesting to see the rest of the world's reaction to Horizon Worlds as it launches. The social app has come a long ways from where it started when I first tried it, I will say. Sometimes in the world of VR, we get to see something from the real world make it into the virtual world. And if you are a fan of exploding kittens, like you can guess I probably am, then this next news is going to be exciting as exploding kittens is about to make it into VR. This is coming this fall to the Quest headsets. There's a 10% pre-order discount right now and if you somehow don't know about this game already it is a card game somewhat similar to uno if you really break it down but with all kinds of funny cards with exploding kittens that you're trying not to get because they will explode and destroy you there's opportunities to sabotage the deck and it's just a really fun party game if you've never tried it out the game itself looks like it's going to follow the same kind of art style as is on the cards already and i know personally i'm really excited because it looks like it's going to take the fun of exploding kittens and take it up to a whole nother level as soon as this launches i'm planning on having a game night with VR headsets all around a table and all of us playing it together in real life. If you missed it this week, I was actually hanging out with Q2C during the Upload VR Summer Showcase. That's when Upload VR, probably the biggest VR news website around, has exclusive titles and things they show off that are coming this year or being updated in VR. Tons of different games, a lot of indie titles, a lot of mixed reality off the beginning and then more VR in the middle. If you missed that, I'll leave a link to the full thing over on the Q2C channel where there was also an exclusive developer interview and announcement of a game coming from a lot of the developers of Onward that is coming to VR as well. And then to celebrate this, there's also a Humble Bundle if you are a PC VR gamer. We've talked about Humble Bundles before, but basically you get to pay a very little amount for a good amount of games, and this one is eight VR games for just $10. You pay at least $10, so basically you can pay more. Some proceeds of it go to charity. So some people look at it as like a donation if they're paying above and beyond that, but basically you just have to pay the minimum amount to get access to all those games. A lot of Serious Sam games, but Gorn, Tentacular, a couple others too. There'll be links in the comments and description of a lot of the things we've been talking about today, so make sure you check out any of those you were interested down below.